The call came through the emergency line at 3.14 a.m. Dr. Alessandro Martini, head seismologist at Italy's National Institute for Geophysics, was staring at readings that should have been impossible. The magnitude 4.6 earthquake that had just struck Campi Flegre was not behaving like any earthquake he had seen in 30 years of monitoring. He told colleagues the energy signature was all wrong. This was not tectonic, this was pressure release. What Martini discovered in the following hours has sent shockwaves through the international volcanic monitoring community. A swarm of 150 earthquakes was not caused by shifting rock or fault movement. It was caused by something far more terrifying. Steam explosions. Miles beneath the surface, superheated water had been building pressure for months, and last night it finally found cracks to exploit. The entire volcanic system is now operating like a massive steam engine, with 900,000 people living directly on top of the boiler. The truly chilling part. This is exactly how the 1538 eruption, be eruption began, the last time Campi Flegre erupted. Witnesses from that disaster described the same rhythmic ground pulses, the same synchronized cracking, the same steam vents opening in perfect sequence. If history is repeating itself, how much time do the residents of Naples have left? And what happens when the next pressure release is not just steam, but molten rock? Scientists studying Campi Flegre say the danger is not the lava you can see, it is the steam pressure system you cannot. This hidden network operates beneath one of Europe's most densely populated regions, where nearly a million people live unknowingly above a geological pressure cooker that has been building energy for decades. According to Dr. Tiziana Venorio of Stanford University, what is happening at Campi Flegre is not magma movement. It is a capped geothermal reservoir reaching critical pressure levels. Her team's analysis of the recent seismic data reveals readings that match laboratory simulations of explosive steam release. A magnitude 4.6 earthquake recorded overnight, registered energy signatures consistent with pressure decompression, not tectonic movement. Dr. Flora Giudice Pietro of Italy's National Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology explains the unprecedented nature of these signals. These burst-like seismic swarms manifest with rapid sequences of earthquakes occurring at extremely short intervals. We have recorded 18,500 earthquakes between 2021 and 2024, with the recent swarm showing coordinated timing that suggests the entire system is operating as one unified pressure network. Ground penetrating radar and satellite imagery confirm what seismologists suspected. The caldera floor has risen 1.4 meters since 2005, with 3.2 centimeters of uplift recorded in the past week alone. GPS. Monitoring stations detect synchronized ground movement across the entire 15 kilometer volcanic field, indicating pressure buildup on a scale never before documented at this location. Here is how the hidden steam engine actually works. When regional earthquakes trigger stress changes in the crust, they create microscopic cracks in the sealed caprock that sits above Campi Flegre's geothermal reservoir. Superheated water and steam, trapped under immense pressure for decades, finds these new pathways and begins forcing its way upward. Each pressure release weakens the caprock further, creating more fractures for the next surge. It is a self-reinforcing cycle that accelerates with each steam pulse. The process operates like a massive mocha pot, the Italian espresso maker, with the geothermal reservoir as the heated lower chamber and the caprock as the perforated lid. As pressure builds in the lower chamber, steam forces its way through weak points in the lid, creating the rhythmic pulses that characterize the current seismic swarms. But unlike a coffee maker designed to release pressure safely, this natural system has no relief valve. What makes this particularly dangerous is the feedback loop, now documented by Stanford researchers. Each steam release temporarily reduces pressure, allowing more groundwater to seep into the hot reservoir below. That additional water quickly heats into steam, rebuilding pressure faster than before. 
The system is essentially recharging itself, with each cycle becoming more intense than the last. Current monitoring data suggests the reservoir is approaching what engineers call critical failure, the point where pressure exceeds the Caprock's ability to contain it. History shows what happens when Campi Flegre's steam system reaches critical pressure. The last eruption in 1538 began with identical warning signs that unfolded over several terrifying weeks. September the 27th, 1538. Local fishermen reported strange bubbling in the Bay of Pozzuoli, with water temperatures rising enough to kill fish in massive numbers. October the 6th brought the first ground tremors, rhythmic pulses that made church bells ring without wind. Witnesses described the earth breathing in regular intervals, exactly matching the synchronized seismic patterns detected in the recent magnitude 4.6 swarm. By October 19th, Steam vents had opened across the countryside, releasing scalding vapour that burned vegetation and forced villagers to abandon their homes. The ground continued rising in measured pulses, lifting the ancient Roman market of Serapeum higher each day. Cracks appeared in buildings with mechanical precision, following underground fracture networks, invisible to residents, but perfectly aligned with pressure release points. Then came the catastrophic failure. September 29th, 1538. At dawn, the entire system let go at once. A massive steam explosion tore open the earth, launching superheated rocks and boiling mud across the landscape. In just eight days of violent eruptions, Monte Nuovo, New Mountain, rose from farmland to a height of 140 meters. The eruption was so sudden that witnesses barely had time to flee. Entire villages disappeared under pyroclastic flows and steam blasts. What makes this historical precedent terrifying is the scale of modern vulnerability. In 1538, the region was mostly farmland with scattered villages. Today, the same volcanic field supports major highways, industrial facilities, and dense urban neighborhoods. The port of Pozzuoli handles millions of tons of cargo every year and sits directly above the 1538 eruption center. Worse, the current pressure buildup may be even more intense than 1538. Scientific analysis suggests the Caprock has been sealed longer this time, allowing pressure to accumulate for nearly 500 years without major release. When the Stanford team compared laboratory simulations of the 1538 eruption with current reservoir conditions, they found pressure levels that exceed the historical event by a significant margin. If the pattern holds, the next failure will not just create a new mountain, it could reshape the entire Naples metropolitan area. Every monitoring instrument at Campi Flegre is registering the same alarming message. The steam pressure system is accelerating beyond all previous measurements. Ground deformation sensors show the caldera floor rising at two centimeters per month, the fastest sustained uplift rate ever recorded. Thermal imaging satellites detect new heat signatures emerging along fracture networks that have been dormant for decades. Since March 2024, seismic stations have recorded what scientists call burst-like swarms, rapid fire earthquake sequences that occur at intervals too short to distinguish individual events. Dr. Judy Cepietro's analysis reveals these swarms are concentrated around the Solfatara Pisciarelli hydrothermal field, where carbon dioxide emissions have reached 1,557 tonnes per day. To put that in perspective, those emission levels match active volcanoes with open magma conduits. The most concerning development is the appearance of very long period seismic signals, deep slow vibrations that suggest fluid movement at depths of 3.6 kilometers. These signals create a direct connection between the pressurized reservoir and surface steam vents, indicating the Caprock is developing systematic weaknesses. GPS stations across the region now detect synchronized ground movement, proving the entire 15 kilometer system operates as one unified pressure network. Dr. Venorio's latest data shows groundwater infiltration rates have doubled since 2023, 
feeding more water into the superheated reservoir. Laboratory simulations suggest this increased recharge rate could push the system to critical pressure within months, not years. The reservoir is essentially recharging itself faster than it can safely release pressure through existing fractures. If Campi Flegre's steam system fails catastrophically, it will not begin with lava flows or ash clouds. It will begin with an explosion. When the caprock finally gives way, the sudden decompression of superheated steam will create a blast equivalent to multiple tons of TNT launched from directly beneath densely populated neighborhoods. The initial steam explosion would occur within seconds. Steam, superheated vapor expanding at supersonic speeds would tear through the ground surface across multiple kilometers simultaneously. Buildings within the blast radius would be hit by temperatures exceeding 400 degrees Celsius, causing instant structural failure. The explosion would create its own weather system, a towering steam column carrying scalding debris that would fall like burning rain across Naples. Within 15 minutes, the infrastructure cascade would begin. The port of Pozzuoli, handling 2.3 million tons of cargo annually, sits directly above the most unstable section of Caprock. A steam explosion here would not only destroy the port, but potentially ignite fuel storage facilities, creating secondary fires that could burn for weeks. Highway A56, the main evacuation route from Naples, crosses three identified fracture zones where steam release is most likely. The ground deformation alone would cripple the region's transportation network. Roads and railway lines built on reclaimed land would buckle and sink as steam explosions destabilize underground soil layers. Naples International Airport, located on the volcanic field's eastern edge, would face immediate closure as superheated debris, contaminated runways and damaged aircraft. Emergency planners estimate that a coordinated evacuation of 900,000 residents would require 72 hours under ideal conditions. But if the steam system fails rapidly, residents might have only minutes to reach safety. The 1538 eruption gave barely eight hours of escalating warning before the catastrophic explosion. With modern population density, that timeline could prove tragically inadequate. The economic impact would ripple far beyond Italy. Naples is Southern Europe's third largest city and a critical shipping hub for Mediterranean trade. A volcanic emergency here would disrupt supply chains from North Africa to Northern Europe, potentially triggering economic instability across the continent. Scientists from Stanford University, Italy's National Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology, and the European Space Agency now agree on a chilling assessment. Campi Flegre is transitioning from dormant to active, and the process may be irreversible. Dr. Venorio put it bluntly, the recurring pattern of overpressured reservoir behavior suggests we are witnessing the early stages of volcanic reactivation. The question is not whether the system will reach critical pressure, it is how much warning we will have when it does. Her team's analysis indicates that once the steam pressure system begins coordinated release patterns, historical precedent suggests escalation toward explosive activity. Dr. Christopher Kilburn of University College London, a leading expert on Campi Flegre, warns that the current unrest phase has lasted longer and shown greater intensity than any episode since the 1980s. We are seeing deformation rates, gas emissions, and seismic patterns that collectively suggest the system is approaching a threshold state. His 2016 prediction that major unrest would follow an additional 30 to 40 centimeters of uplift has proven accurate. That threshold has now been exceeded. The European Space Agency Volcanic Monitoring Program has designated Campi Flegre a priority one risk, requiring constant satellite surveillance. Their assessment notes that the combination of accelerating ground deformation, unprecedented carbon dioxide flux, and burst-like seismicity represents a volcanic crisis that could affect millions of, of European residents. For the first time in scientific history, 
Researchers have documented a large caldera system transitioning from dormancy to active unrest in real time, providing crucial insights into how supervolcanoes reawaken. The steam pressure mechanism identified at Campi Flegre may exist at other caldera systems worldwide. Similar capped geothermal reservoirs underlie Yellowstone, Long Valley in California, and the era caldera in Japan. If regional earthquakes can trigger pressure build up at Campi Flegre, the same process could affect these globally significant volcanic systems. Climate scientists are particularly concerned about the potential for cascading effects. A major steam explosion at Campi Flegre could inject massive amounts of water vapor and sulfur, co sulfur compounds into the atmosphere, temporarily affecting regional weather patterns. While not comparable to the climate impact of the 39,000 year old Campanian Ignimbrite eruption, even a moderate explosive event could disrupt agriculture across southern Europe. Perhaps most significantly, the Campi Flegre crisis has revealed the limitations of traditional volcanic monitoring. The steam pressure system operated for years below the detection threshold of standard volcano surveillance. This discovery is forcing a complete re-evaluation of how scientists monitor and predict volcanic threats at populated calderas worldwide. Campi Flegre's steam pressure system is accelerating beyond all historical precedent. The magnitude 4.6 swarm that rattled Naples was just the latest pressure release from a geothermal reservoir that has been building energy for five centuries. With ground deformation rates doubling, carbon dioxide emissions reaching volcanic levels, and burst-like seismicity creating synchronized fracture networks, the hidden danger may beneath 900,000 residents is transitioning from dormant to active. The 1538 eruption began with identical warning signs. Rhythmic ground pulses, steam vent formation, and coordinated pressure releases across underground networks were observed. If the pattern holds, the current unrest could escalate from minor steam releases to catastrophic explosive decompression within months. The infrastructure supporting Europe's third largest metropolitan area sits, sits directly above a geological pressure cooker approaching critical failure. What do you think? Are we watching Campi Flegre's slow transition toward explosive reactivation, or will the steam pressure system find a way to release safely without catastrophic failure? If this hidden reservoir does reach critical pressure, would Italy's emergency response systems be able to evacuate nearly a million people in time? This is Earth Attacks, where we explore the hidden forces reshaping our planet. If you want to stay ahead of the geological threats that could change everything overnight, make sure to subscribe and join us on this journey. Because sometimes Earth's most dangerous systems operate in complete silence and it pays to listen before they decide to speak.